Hi, my name is Akiva Goldman. I'm the director and founder of Goldman & Associates. Our firm has a primary focus on all matters of family law as well as injury and uh, criminal law. If you are interested in those areas, please, of course, subscribe to our channel. We've got a lot of interesting videos that cover all those topics. Today I want to uh, discuss something uh, that was actually pre presented to us by part of our viewing audience. It's a very good question, but it's a complicated question. The question as posed to me was, quote, can parents lose custody if they don't get the COVID vaccine? End of quote. So that, that's very interesting. You've got a couple of issues going on there. Number one, the issue of whether or not the parents get the vaccine or, and I don't know whether or not the caller meant this, do they mean if they don't give the child, the eligible child, the COVID vaccine? So let, let, let's first talk about the parents getting the COVID vaccine. Is it constitutional for the court to even order that somebody get a vaccine? I, I say not. I say that um, more likely than not, uh, a person has certain personal liberties. We still have them. They're embodied in the Constitution and the Constitution's amendments. I don't believe the court can force someone to uh, get a vaccine. Now, can the court say, well, I'm not forcing you, but if you choose not to, you're going to lose custody. I don't think they can do that either because the court has to determine in making custody decisions whether or not it's in the best interest of the child to make the change. The court can't make a change in custody because it's upset. The court can't do that on a punitive, on a punitive basis. The court has to do that only if it feels the child is in jeopardy. Now, I suppose if you wanted to say this child is immunocompromised, and therefore, if you don't get the vaccine, you are likely to expose the child, then I suppose there may be an argument to be made. But you have to understand, couldn't we make that argument with anything? Couldn't we say that, uh, you know, if you don't get the flu shot, you could infect your child with the flu? Uh, couldn't we say if you don't bring healthy food into the house, you could cause your child to eat something that's not healthy, that, you know, for them and all that? So the question is, you know, where do we draw the line here? So I think, oh, you have to remember one thing. The court has to decide the issues before it. In most cases, the court is going to choose between the issues presented by the plaintiff and the issues presented by the defendant. So if you are bringing this issue and you're saying, judge, I want you to strip her of custody because she refuses to get that shot, you're going to somehow have to show that it's in the best interest of the child that that move be made, or in the alternative, that it compromises the best interest of the child if you leave it the way it is. And that's going to be very, very difficult for the court to make that decision. Um, now, if you want to say, I want you to uh, strip her of custody because she refuses to vaccinate the child. Well, remember one thing. If you have full legal and full physical custody, you get to make medical decisions. So this issue would never come up. If you share legal custody, medical decisions have to be made together. If you cannot agree, then you have to file a motion and have the court determine whether or not that vaccine is appropriate. And then what are you going to get? Well, if you want the court to rule, the court might very well impose its own opinion um, as to the vaccine. Uh, and, and, and rather than decide what's in the best interest of the child, the court may very well you know, use its own opinion that may be uh, guided by legitimate or illegitimate reasons, and the court may order one way or another, and do you really want to take that chance? And then, by the way, once you start arguing about who should get the vaccine or when they should get it or should the child get it, then you got to ask, well, what vaccine? Now we can start fighting about which vaccine. Do you go with the uh, vaccine that is one dose and you're done? Do you get the one that's two doses and a booster? Has one shown that it's better to protect a child more so than the other? Are children of young age even at risk and is it even necessary at all? And even if the child gets that vaccine, what if he or she goes to school with 90 other kids that are unvaccinated? Then what good is it anyway? Or in the alternative, suppose you want to argue that dad should have to take the vaccine, but dad goes to work in a factory where there's a zillion other people who are unvaccinated, he's literally exposed to them with no social distancing all the time. Then where are you going to go with that? And, 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 and it breaks down even worse. What if your child is 13 years old and maybe technically eligible for the vaccine? The other one's 12, not yet eligible, or 10 or whatever the age is. So how do we draw that line? Are we going to say, well, you don't have to vaccinate those, but because you have to vaccinate this one and you didn't, you lose custody? And do you lose custody of all of them or just one of them? So what I'm trying to explain is it would be very, very difficult at, at this stage in the development of the law for a judge 
to split these hairs because for every argument that one person can make in support of their position, the other one can make three in opposition. So it's a very, very difficult thing. I've not yet seen or heard that any judge will strip a parent of custody because of their getting the vaccine or not getting the vaccine or vaccinating the child or not vaccinating the child. I do think that that could change again in an immunocompromised child. I, I can see that. That's a different story. Then it's like failing to give medical attention to a child who, let's say, needs the surgery and mom refuses, you know, to give it. At, at that point in time, I could see it. But in a situation like this, where A, we don't know what good the vaccine will do. B, we don't even know if the child is susceptible. C, certainly we don't know if the child has the COVID uh, infection. And, and, and D, even if he does, we don't know if it have any impact on him. In those situations, I cannot see the court stripping someone of custody on the theory that maybe there will be a compromise on it. However, again, let me stress that, you know, I'm not the guy who wears the black robe. I could certainly argue convincingly on, 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 on this issue, but I do think that most judges and the ones that I've talked to have, have um, stated that, you know, they're not uh, likely to make changes in custody as it relates to that specific issue because of the tremendous social and political implications there are as it relates to this discussion. Um, I will tell you this, a lot of times in these videos somebody will ask me a question, I'll give an answer. And I like that because, you know, you may not agree with my answer, but at least I gave you one. I leave this video knowing full well that what I've done is I've laid out two arguments, but I haven't been definitive on it. It's hard for me to be definitive on it because the law is not definitive at, at this point in time. I do think that if you're facing a situation where your spouse has filed a motion to change custody because of a vaccine issue, uh, I, I, I do think uh, that you're certainly in a situation where the law could be on your side and on the other side. There's arguments to be made. But I think you have to remember that anytime there's a custody issue where somebody says, well, he's hanging around with this guy, it's no good for the child, and the, and the other guy says, that's not true, I, what I do is, the court is always faced with weighing that out. And if you're in that situation, the court will help you weigh that out too. If you have any questions, reach out, and of course, we'll give you immediate guidance in that regard.